Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel where we compare and contrast different companies' business models, products, and financial positions. In this video, we will be discussing Apple and Samsung, two of the largest tech companies in the world. We will be comparing and analyzing their business models, product lines, and financials to determine which company is better positioned for growth and long-term success. Let's begin by discussing Apple's business model. Apple is a consumer electronics company that designs and develops hardware, software, and services. The company's focus is on product design, user experience, and brand building to drive growth. Apple has a strong distribution network and operates in over 100 countries worldwide. On the other hand, Samsung is a diversified conglomerate that operates in various industries such as consumer electronics, semiconductors, and construction. The company's focus is on product innovation, R&D, and strategic partnerships to drive growth. Samsung has a strong presence in Asia, but also operates in over 70 countries worldwide. Moving on to their product lines, let's take a look at their latest product offerings. Apple's product portfolio includes the iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple Watch. The company also offers various services such as Apple Music, iCloud, and Apple Pay. Apple's products are known for their sleek design, high-quality components, and intuitive user interface. Samsung, on the other hand, offers a wide range of consumer electronics products such as smartphones, tablets, TVs, and home appliances. The company's products are known for their cutting-edge technology, advanced features, and competitive pricing. Now, let's take a look at their financials. Apple reported a revenue of around $274 billion for the fiscal year 2021, which is an increase of around 29% compared to the previous year. The company's net income for the same period was around $86 billion, which is an increase of around 63%. Samsung, on the other hand, reported a revenue of around $200 billion for the fiscal year 2021, which is an increase of around 8% compared to the previous year. The company's net income for the same period was around $29 billion, which is an increase of around 41%. Both companies have different business models, which is reflected in their financials. Apple's focus on product design and user experience has helped it maintain consistent revenue growth over the years, while Samsung's focus on product innovation and R&D has helped it maintain a dominant position in various industries. Finally, let's discuss their expansion plans. Apple has a goal of expanding its product portfolio and investing in innovative technologies such as augmented reality and autonomous vehicles. The company has also announced plans to expand into new markets such as India and Southeast Asia, which are expected to drive growth in the coming years. Samsung has also announced plans to expand its product portfolio and invest in innovative technologies such as artificial intelligence and 5G networks. The company has a goal of becoming a leader in various industries and has announced plans to focus on sustainability and social responsibility to drive growth. Conclusion To sum up, both Apple and Samsung have unique business models and product lines that have helped them establish a strong position in the tech industry. Apple's focus on product design and user experience has helped it maintain consistent revenue growth over the years, while Samsung's focus on product innovation and R&D has helped it maintain a dominant position in various industries. Both companies have announced expansion plans that focus on expanding their product portfolio and investing in innovative technologies. Ultimately, which company is better positioned for growth and long-term success depends on various factors such as market conditions, competitive landscape, and management strategies. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it insightful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more.